What's going on guys and welcome back to another Forzathon Weekly Challenge. Now if you're new to the series, I'll be showing you a basic run through of the challenges that make you 100 Forza points. You can also double your rewards if you own this location on the map, which is located on the top left. Before we get into those challenges, let's take a look at the seasonal items and the Forzathon shop for this week. For our first challenge, uh, own and drive the 2016 Gymkhana 9 Ford Focus RSRX. You can easily find this vehicle inside the auto show or the auction house, but either way I should mention that you need to use this vehicle through all four challenges. After you have the car, then you need to exit the garage. And if it doesn't trigger right away, then go drive around the block for a few seconds. Now the second challenge, you earn a total of 750,000 skill score. First off, don't freak out because you can easily break this up into smaller pieces if you do not want to risk it all. However, there is a few choices. You can do a skill song if you own this house location inside the woods, but I personally do not like this route. Getting the song to spawn on the radio can be a massive pain because it is a game of chance. Now the second option will be your skill tree options for this vehicle. If you want to boost up your skill score a little bit faster, then don't forget to unlock a few of the perks inside this section. There is an option for a times 7 multiplier. As for location, the airport will always be the easiest spot to throw the vehicle around without hitting any trees or traffic, so it's up to you if you want to go there. In the third challenge, you will win three dirt scramble events. That means you have to race on tracks that are circuit layouts. You can do normal or custom layouts, but they have to be circuit. You cannot cheat with a point-to-point -point sprint race. However, as usual on this channel, I have created one ultra-simple race that can be completed within seconds. With a share code feature that Playground has added into Season 14, you can now locate these a lot easier by going to any track and type in the share code inside the search area. Then for a final challenge, you need to earn 6 stars in total from Drift Zones. You may be looking at the description since it says starts, but silly Forza, they mean stars. Up on the screen is two of the easiest spots to attain 3 stars per run on the original map, but it's up to you if you want to try them. Well, that pretty much wraps up everything that you need to know in this week in Horizon 4. From here, I hope you found this pretty useful, and I'll see you next time.